outside the country. America has the lowest level of uh, information about geopolitics. America is just completely illiterate when it comes to these geopolitical developments. <laughs> and so China is incredibly corrupt and bad. I don't like the communist. Russia's got big problems, but Russia's tried to reform compared to China, and the globalists don't want that. They don't want any sovereign nations. They don't want any sovereign sectors. They don't want any sovereign places to run. And so Russia's trying to have their own currency. They're trying to team up with India and China. Russia's trying to defend itself. Russia's trying to build a culture. Russia's promoting the family. Russia is, is going after pedophiles. Russia doesn't put fluoride in their water. You turn on Russian news. GMO shows to be a system put in to reduce fertility. Here's the UN documents. Fluoride has been proven to lower IQ and destroy fertility. That's why the West puts it in their water as part of population control. Here at the Russian Ministry of the Interior, we do not wish to destroy your fertility, but through cultural means of the communists, we have had our fertility lowered. We must have children or we will fall. This is part of a larger plan to, uh, I mean, the Russians know, folks, because they've been through 85 years of New World Order gang rape. And isn't it fitting as world government arises and as almost every country's fallen, Russia is over there, infiltrated, corrupt, double dealing, has its own problems, but ideologically is being defiant to this. First clip is Obama, in case you think I'm making it up, talking about apocalyptic ISIS, which is a sock puppet, a hand puppet, a finger puppet, a marionette, a avatar a front of Saudi Arabia, NATO, the globalists, the criminals that run our country. The criminals that run our country harvest babies while they're alive. They run Al-Qaeda. They're trying to ban Christian speech and ban churches and ban crosses. They're already doing it in Germany. They're already doing it in Sweden. They're coming. It's communist with mega banks financing them, with radical Muslims taking over. We are under attack, period. Period. Now let's go to Obama warning of the apocalypse of jihad and out of this crisis they will bring in their world government here it is when a dictator slaughters tens of thousands of his own people that is not just a matter of one nation's internal affairs it breeds human suffering on an order of magnitude that affects us all likewise when a terrorist group beheads captives slaughters the innocent and enslaves women. Oh, he's all behind all of it. It's not a single nation's national security problem. That is an assault on all our humanity. Total evil, totally behind it, and then acts like he's against it. That's Emperor Palpatine level. I've said before, and I will repeat, there is no room for accommodating an apocalyptic cult like ISIS. And the United States makes no apology for using our military as part <laughs> of a broad coalition <laughs> to go after them. <laughs> oh, I can't listen we to this. We do so with a determination to ensure that there will Never be a safe haven for terrorists who carry out these crimes. Of course, they're creating a safe haven out and of part of Iraq. We have demonstrated over more than a decade of relentless pursuit and of Al-Qaeda. out of Syria. We will not be outlasted by extremists. Oh, no. They're just totally empowering them 14 years after 9-11. You know, let's go to Putin first and then Obama when we come back. Here's part of Putin's address to the U.N. yesterday. And then compare it to what Obama's saying. The Russians have invited the U.S. in to take these people out. They're not going to take out their own people. And again, this is all coming out in the news. The world knows we run Al-Qaeda. And the world's meant to learn that because down the road, America is going to be crippled. America is being set up for a major fall. Not a complete fall, but a game changer. Europe is to lead the world government. America is to supply Hessian mercenaries. The new Atlantis is to be brought down. Let's go ahead and go to Russian President Vladimir Putin. It seems, however, that far from learning from others' mistakes, everyone just keeps repeating them. And so the export of revolutions, this time of so-called democratic ones, continues. It will suffice to look at the situation in the Middle East and North Africa, as has been mentioned by my previous speaker, certainly. Political and social problems in this region have been piling up for a long time. And people there wished for changes naturally. But how did it actually turn out? 
Rather than bringing about reforms, an aggressive foreign interference has resulted in a brazen destruction of national institutions and the lifestyle itself. Instead of the triumph of democracy and progress, we got violence, poverty and so social disaster. And nobody cares a bit about human rights including the right to life. I cannot help asking those who have caused this situation, do you realize now what you've done? But I'm afraid no one is going to answer that. Indeed, policies based on self-conceit and belief in one's exceptionality and impunity have never been abandoned. It is now obvious that the power vacuum created in some countries of the Middle East and North Africa led to the emergence of anarchy areas, which immediately started to be filled with extremists and terrorists. In these circumstances, it is hypocritical and irresponsible to make loud declarations about the threat of international terrorism while turning a blind eye to the channels of financing and supporting terrorists, including the process of drug trafficking and illicit trade in oil and arms. It would be equally irresponsible to try to manipulate extremist groups and place them at one's service in order to achieve one's own political goals in the hope of later dealing with them or in other words, liquidating them. Russia has always been consistently fighting against terrorism in all its forms. Today, we provide military and technical assistance both to Iraq and Syria and many other countries of the region who are fighting terrorist groups. We think it is an enormous mistake to refuse to cooperate with the Syrian government and its armed forces who are violently fighting terrorism face to face. We should finally acknowledge that no one but President Assad's armed forces and Kurds militia are truly fighting the Islamic State and other terrorist organizations in Syria. We know about all the problems and contradictions in the region, but which were based on the reality. Dear colleagues, I must note that such an honest and frank approach of Russia has been recently used as a pretext to accuse it of its growing ambitions, as if those who say it have no ambition at all. However, it's not about Russia's ambitions, dear colleagues, but about the recognition of the fact that we can no longer tolerate the current state of affairs in the world. What we actually propose is to be guided by common values and common interests rather than ambitions. And that's the key. And that's why Putin is now the main leader of the world. Because compared to our leaders, Putin is moral. And Putin tells the truth over and over again. And the whole world sees that and sees that our government wants to overthrow even friends. Our government is overthrowing people in Egypt, people in Libya, but also in Eastern Europe, you name it. Because wicked corporations now run our government and they want to discredit America as well. They want to destroy all the nation states, so they're willing to use us as a battering ram, even though it's going to break us in the end. They're using our wealth, our goodwill, our strong name to build this world government. Russia is completely backed into a corner. The United States is moving new medium-range cruise missiles into Europe, admitting they're going to prepare to nuke Russia. And so Russia is now being pushed closer to China. And they're moving into the Middle East. This is biblical. And it's being directed by the EU, by the globalists. And we're not hearing a word from the Pope about this. We're only hearing how we need to cut the third world's carbon output, which is a death sentence. Heard the callers. A lot of you have gone to InfoWarsLife.com. You've read the rave reviews. Some products have close to 1,000 reviews. The average review is 4.8. That is unheard of for power reviews, one of the most respected third-party uh, re uh, review sites where people go make reviews uh, on the product. These are true game changers, whether it's Survival Shield, Nason Iodine X2, the Good Halogen, uh, or whether it is things like Oxy Powder that's just a higher level of oxygen, the time releases in your upper and lower intestine to flush all that stuff out. This is just basic game-changer type stuff. And... I've told the story many times that two and a half, three years ago, 
they were already developing and souping up formulas that were already out there, but more organic, more concentrated, a liver cleanse, a liver shield. And they had a prototype, and Anthony and Dr. Group were doing it, and I read about it online, and I just said, this can't be real. Because I'm not a big supplement guy over the years. People know that. I had to be shown it. And you take it. You take the apple cider vinegar with water three or four times a day for six days. You take five or six, depending on how your intestines work, whatever's good for you. Between I mean, four and eight, some people do different stuff. It varies. Of the oxy powder. And then on the sixth day, and we have all the details at InfoWarsLife.com, you lay on the side that your liver's on, your left side, for about an hour and a half at bedtime. You drink six to seven ounces of virgin olive oil. You take a couple capsules uh, of bath salt, but but not the type that you, you know, hear about people getting in trouble for. Uh, you, you know, the actual Epsom salt, medical grade, you buy it, say, CVS. And almost everyone that I've talked to, over 90% it happens the next morning. For me, it didn't happen for two days. And I'm not a doctor, so I don't know what it is. Gallstones, liver stones, whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to make medical statements. All I know is spectacular. I hate to talk about it. It's embarrassing. But we're talking about a good 30 to 40 black stones, which means I was really toxic. It's supposed to be green or brown. And I'm talking hard stones, folks. Just, just comes out of you and you're like, oh my gosh, it's like the movie Alien or something. Uh, if you're super, super healthy, maybe 1%, 2% of people, nothing happens. Uh, but you've heard the callers. We've opened the phones up unscreened and the people call in are just blown away by what happens. Leanne McAdoo's done it. Her good friend's done it. She wants to come in next week and talk about it. And Leanne McAdoo and Anthony Gucciardi are going to be in here for about 10 minutes at the bottom of the next hour to discuss it. But here's the good news. Liver Cleanse is back. The Liver Shield is the name of the product by InfoWars Life is back. It's been sold out for months. We got a small supply back in, sold out in a few days. We got a large supply of InfoWars Life Liver Shield in. And it's only part of it with these herbs along with the Oxy Powder at night. You take those together. So you just mix this. I mix it with the water when I take the uh, apple cider vinegar. And we don't sell the apple cider vinegar or the salt, but all how to do it, the recipe, it's very simple. There's five steps, six days. It's very easy to do, InfoWarsLife.com. And just go read it for yourself, watch the informational videos. Uh, everybody says, man, your face is already slimming down. Uh, you look so much more healthy and vibrant. You've got more energy. You're also a bigger jerk, like I used to be. I, I feel younger, I mean, I'm more aggressive. And it's just everything I'm doing. Uh, and I still put bad things in my body. I'm not perfect, believe me. Work hard, play hard. Uh, but if you want to really have the opportunity, I don't know if it's going to work for you like it did for me and all these other people. Uh, in fact, it just works totally horribly, okay? <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. Just check it out for yourself. Infowarslife.com. Uh, Liver Shield is back. It's so dramatic. I, I couldn't believe what it did for me personally. Liver Shield is back. Infowarslife.com or 888-253-3139. Thank you all for your support and support our local affiliates as well. They'll be back with Obama's you speech and more. To GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. I pray many times a week. I wouldn't say every day, but four or five times a week. And it seems to help me. Because I get so angry sometimes, I get a crick in my neck. And I have trouble breathing. I actually get in a very aggressive mode because I just start thinking about the crimes being committed. They're arresting people in Germany that criticize open borders. They're working with Zuckerberg to censor people here domestically, including us. Our government's funding Al-Qaeda to murder all these innocent people and ISIS. The Federal Reserve's destroying the country by design. And I just don't want to sit here and take it anymore. Now, when we start the next segment, I played Vladimir Putin's uh, speech or an excerpt of it. Where he said, this is not about Russia's interest. This is about morally doing the right thing. And it's about defending our national sovereignty against radical Al-Qaeda groups and ISIS groups that the West is funding and using. 
and how dare you do this? And it's a fact.